Good evening, Graham Rawlins with our Friday edition of News Geelong. Marie and Bryce Selwood are one set of parents that will definitely know that one of their sons will be playing in the 2011 AFL Grand Final after this weekend's preliminary final clash between Geelong and the West Coast Eagles. The Geelong Chamber of Commerce advised to members is clear to survive and thrive in business you need to be open to learning new skills and improving your business operation. And later in the program, the Flying Hawk, Nathan Curry, by the Jewelry Showcase, will bring us the latest news from the pulsating world of Geelong sport. While our scintillating Sophie Miller will keep us up to date with weather conditions expected for the Geelong and Surf Coast region over the next six days. The Geelong Acquisitive Print Awards and subsequent exhibition is a biennial event that has been conducted at Geelong Gallery since 1996, as Merrill Friend reports. We're here at the Geelong Gallery in Little Mallop Street where the latest exhibition is the 2011 Geelong Acquisitive Print Awards. This will be running until the 20th of November and we're able to have a chat with the curator, Lisa Sullivan. We've just opened our 2011 Geelong Acquisitive Print Awards which is a biennial event in our calendar. So we saw the last one in 2009 and it's a very exciting exhibition that brings together an array of different contemporary printmaking techniques and also works by Australian artists. And so there's um, quite a lot of entries from Geelong as well. There are a number of entries in the 41 works that have been shortlisted. Uh, we have some artists who originate from Geelong, are currently working in Geelong, and also artists who are from far afield but choose subjects in the region for their works as well. And we're able now to announce the winner. We are indeed. It's Bruce Latimer, who's a very well-established etching um, artist. Uh, he uh, works from New South Wales. Uh, his work, Hold Up, is a really interesting work in which he looks at the landscape and incorporates some man-made elements such as a crane and a security van. Um, and the work is very much about man's impact on the environment and the impact, I guess, of money and development as well. So the crane uh, is lifting up this security van, hence the, the pun on the notion of hold up. So it's a very interesting work on a, a number of different levels. And there are three others that have been acquired, the one behind you as well. Can you tell us a bit about those ones? Yeah, absolutely. Rona Green is an artist who was born here in Geelong, so it's wonderful to incorporate her work into the collection. Um, and she looks very much at identity and uh, she looks at uh, animals, many of which are actually her own animals, uh, and she um, places, I guess, um, marks or cultural marks on her animals. So she's very interested in tattooing and the kind of identity that we create through um, adornment, body adornment. So her works are very interesting. Um, and we've also uh, acquired two landscapes as well, one by Rosalind Atkins, which is a, a wood engraving, a very traditional technique and, and quite a labour intensive technique. Uh, and also David Fraser, who's a Castlemaine based artist. And his is an engraving titled New Life, which refers to the regeneration of the forest after bushfires. From the Geelong Gallery, Meryl Friend, News Geelong. Thank you, Meryl. The Selwood family journey from Bendigo to AFL elite level will be seen at its best as the three brothers, Adam and Scott for the West Coast Eagles and Joel, Geelong Cats, take to the MCG in the preliminary finals between the two clubs tomorrow afternoon. Nathan Curry has more. Obviously I'm down here at Skilled Stadium. Joel Selwood was happy to speak to us all before their big preliminary final clash with the Eagles tomorrow. And obviously he had plenty to say about his brothers for the Eagles and their form at the moment. I thought that'd be the first one off today. Um, yeah, I mean, I will cross him throughout the game, I'm sure. Um, probably go through about seven or eight different players when you play AFL these days. So I'm sure he'll be one of them at stages, but I mean, they've got a great midfield too. We have to make sure we uh, watch our backs and uh, watch out for their key players. Uh, well, I can't really remember. It's a long time since I've been home and um, had the good wrestle with him, but he's, um, he's, he's playing really good footy at the moment. And um, I mean, they all are. He's, uh, he's probably one that we've got to stop. He got some good centre clearances on the weekend when I was watching and um, yeah, he's going well. Yeah, I mean, he's had a lot of help too. I mean, he's um, had a lot of key players that have come back into that side. I mean, a side that finishes 16th last year and, and is in a prelim now, it's pretty impressive and I don't think they'll want to stop there. So we have to make sure that we're on the front foot this week and um, start the game well and um, continue that on. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't sent. Uh, I mean, I've spoken to him throughout the week, but yeah, it's... Um, he does write a bit of rubbish and talk a bit of rubbish sometimes, I won't get into that. Uh, I'm not sure, I mean, I guess they're, they're just proud of probably where they've got and as I said before, they're not going to want to finish with a prelim finish. Um, 
So we've just got to go about go about the right way this weekend. We know it's not going to be easy as what everyone's probably making it out to be. Um, so we've just got to make sure we get on the front foot. Uh, not at all, no. They'll be um, on the younger brother's side this week. He hasn't played in a grand final yet, so I think they'll be uh, sitting probably on the West Coast fence this week. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is turning into a family <laughs> affair day. But, uh, I mean, they're proud of what we've done. And to have uh, three boys play prelim day, it's, um, it's going to be exciting for them. And, um, I mean, they always tell us how proud they are of us. And, um, I mean, we're here because of them, and they've brought us up the right way. And um, we, um, we couldn't thank them enough. Nathan Curry from Skilled Stadium for News Geelong, and I'll be back a little later in sport. Thank you, Nathan. And what a fairy tale story for a gifted family of fine men and athletes. Anglesey Heath, the internationally recognised local flora from around Anglesey and Aries Inlet, will make its annual showing at the annual Wildflower and Art Show this weekend at Memorial Hall in Mimillic Street, Anglesey, as Debbie Meany reports. The Anglesey Wildflower and Art Show is happening this weekend. I spoke with Eleanor Campbell about just what's happening. There's bus trips and there's things for children and refreshments as well. Well this weekend we've got our annual Anglesey Wildflower Show. We've got lots for people to do. We've got a big display of our native flora which is very special. We're a significant area in Australia for our native flora so people can come and have a look at the plants particularly local people can see what they can have in their gardens or is in the nearby environment. And, but people come from all over Australia to see what we've got here. And orchids are a particular interest because we've got well over 100 orchids here and that's pretty unique. In the whole of United Kingdom there's 52 species of orchid. So we're a pretty special area here. We have lots of things going on that people can do apart from looking at the flora display. They can go out on bus trips which can be just stopping at a few places or going on an actual walk for about an hour. There's also two orchid trips that go for two hours and focus on our special orchids. There's displays of other native wildflowers in another area because Australia has beautiful flowers all over the, all over the place so it's good to see other native flowers as well. Some of them we have to be careful of though because a lot of them turn into weeds if you plant them in this area. So we also have a weed display to make people aware that just because it's native doesn't necessarily mean it's a good plant to have in the garden. It can actually cause significant problems. Though a lot of our weeds come from South Africa. They're a very common source of problem for us. In Anglesey at the Anglesey Wildflower and Art Show, this is Debbie Meany for News Geelong. Thank you, Debbie. This is News Geelong Friday edition as we go to a break and return with more news after this. Thank you.